I'm very good, very good. Okay, so what's happening? Today we're gonna to go meet James. James has actually purchased property here in Thailand. He's got a very good story. Um, you might be very interested. You know, is he very happy buying in Thailand? Well, we're gonna go find out. Johnny, nice to see you. Good, thanks nice buddy. To see you. Yeah. How are you? Yeah, not too bad today, not too bad. And if you don't even remember James, James actually helped us with the- Yeah, with helping the poor people aren't as lucky as us. You were Eggman. I was Eggman and nearly became an omelette man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just needed to throw the milk in the back and then <laughs> you know, shake the car around and they still had the meal. Yeah. <laughs> but one, one egg broken. Now that was a great day. Thanks very much for helping us yeah, with that. No, so this is your place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. How long have you lived here for? Uh, 2015. Okay, so, yeah. you, so you've owned it for like seven years? Yeah, about seven years. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. This is like your carport here? Yeah, carport here. Yeah. Oh, you've got a pool? Yeah, I've got a little pool here. This is your own private pool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you put this in yourself? Yeah, I did actually, yeah. Yeah? yeah. This is, the land was um, just land here. Right. Everything. And then I um, put the pool in and then did the uh, bungalow room. There's a guest room. Oh, there's a guest room there too? Yeah, there's an ensuite as well. Okay. Yeah. So it's a fairly good sized pool, isn't it? So, James, this is a four bedroom? Yeah, four bedroom, yeah. 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 Uh, four bathroom, four bedroom. Four bathroom, four bedroom? Yeah. Mm. All right. Well, yeah. Can we have a look inside? Yeah, by all means, come inside. Yeah. Okay, so this is the living room here? Yeah. And then. Uh, Very nice. A bit, a bit IKEA, 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 IKEA. That's all right. <laughs> I think most houses in the world are IKEA yeah, no, these no, days, no. aren't they? Uh, TV and stuff. Yeah. Um, right. So it's you know it's a good. How many square meters is this? Do you know what, Johnny? I think I think it's about uh, I think about 120 in here to total 220. I think. 220 with the whole. Yeah. The whole is that including outside? Yeah, and, I think so. That's a good. Yeah. That's a good size, yeah, isn't like it? Size, yeah. Um, so dining table. Yeah, that's it. And, and then, then three here. Uh, uh, a small sort of kind of say, it's a bit like a galley kitchen. Yeah. It's needed really a bigger kitchen, really. That's all right. It's, it's pretty much I mean, all you need. Do you? Yeah, because it was already built, you see. Um, when I purchased it, I was the first person in here. It just became free um, uh, at the last minute. And it, it, had I had this sort of, um, you know, uh, been able to do it off plan, I would have extended it here. And right. Different things, really. Okay. And different tiles. And so, oh, you yeah. know, you. you, you when you buy it off plan, you can do your own things. So this is like guest bathroom, I guess, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah, just downstairs, Lou, and shower, yeah. Okay. And then up here? Yeah, that's it here. If just follow me, do you want me to shoot upstairs? Okay, this is a master bedroom, is it? Yeah, that's yeah. right, too, yeah. Okay. Very good. There's good. no master in here, but it's there. Oh, you've got, ba you've got balcony out here, too. Yeah, a little balcony. That's yeah. nice. You used to be able to see the sea, but unfortunately, we'll that combo. Oh, so you've been built out, so you can't. Yeah. And more beachfront view. Yeah. yeah. And then, um, then you've got our ensuite here. Yeah. Oh, it's a good sized bathroom, actually. Yeah, they're reasonably sized, yeah. Yeah, yeah not, not too bad. Excellent. And then, bedroom here. Yeah, that's the. That's a that's spare the, bedroom. Yeah. Another bedroom, Another bedroom here. here. Yeah, and then the bathroom second here. Bathroom, second yeah. bathroom here. Yeah, with a shower. Oh God, did you put that up there? Well, your game, what were you leaning across, like trying to hook it on? Yeah, it was, yeah. Oh, <laughs> nearly broke your neck, I think. The location of it's quite good because you're not too far away from the town. So you've got like a little storage here. Yeah, that's right. So yeah. I saw what you mean before, like before you could extend a kitchen out, couldn't you, really? Yeah, I could have done. Yeah. yeah out there, Is it too late to do that now? Could you? You could do it, but there's only so much you really want to um, spend on it. Yeah, well, that's right. Such, really. Yeah, because you... Oh, yeah, okay, right. A lot of the houses have done that. Well, know, it's a lot of storage area you've got there. Yeah. And that's your water tank there in the, the end. There, it's yeah. a bit dark, so if you, anyone can't see, unfortunately, there's no light. But yeah. there's um good storage, good... You know, that's a 2,000 litre. Yeah, that's water right. Tank, yeah, so. That's right. Yeah, good. You know your water leaking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it had it on the yeah. side. Yeah, or did it? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not that good. And then you, there's another guest room in here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and then ensuite here. And there's another ensuite yeah, there. There's a double room here and, and an ensuite for, you know, sort of family members to come along. Okay, and nice. Is. Oh, there's a pool a snooker table under here, is there? Yeah. Oh, okay, I've seen these. That's it. Is that yeah, no, actually, this is a normal size one, Johnny, and I just put it on top. So it's a little bit. Uh, it is, it's oh, so you just take the pool ta take the yeah. table tennis table off, and then yeah, the pool table is under here. Comes in half. Oh, that's good. Bit, you know, sort of, I prefer table tennis. 
Well, you've got all your toys, haven't you? Okay, so here we are with James. James, thanks very much for showing us here. Oh, a pleasure. Yeah, no, pleasure. Nice to see you again. Yeah. So you brought this in 2015? 15, yeah, that's right, yeah. I was, um, basically, what, what happened was that um, uh, I was coming up to retirement from my job, you know, work, work for an airline. And uh, I thought I'm going to definitely move abroad. And so I looked at different places. And because I've been coming down um, ba to Bangkok on flights, uh, I was um, cabin crew for British Airways and uh, for 38 years. So I think they wanted to get rid of me finally. Oh, yeah. I'm a bit yeah. too expensive now. Yeah. And uh, so what, what happened was that um, I knew. I, I, I so really this is where you fell in love with Thailand. Yeah, that's right. Big, um, I looked at places like Spain and things like that, but all quite expensive uh, property wise and um, you know, uh, the cost of living and everything. So all in all, I looked at um, the reasons why to um, come to Thailand. A, the medical stuff, the infrastructure, the roads are good, blah, blah. Yeah, we all know that. Yeah. And um, so uh, then I decided, yeah, this is the right place. Yeah. Where, where are you from, the UK? Um, uh, Bournemouth. Bournemouth, where's that? Yeah, um, just on the south coast. Yeah. Um, you've got London, about two and a half hours on the coast. And if you know Brighton, um, I've heard of Brighton. About, yeah, yeah, you've heard of Brighton, yeah. about two hours um, uh, west of Brighton. Right, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, so about around there. So, yeah. if you don't mind me asking, how much did you pay for this place? I paid uh, um, 300, uh, 3, I think it was. So, yeah. 3.3 3 million baht. Yeah. And what, the exchange rate was pretty good then, Yeah, I well, hear. back then, in 2015, I think it was, it was fluctuating between about 48 and and 52. Well, it's a lot better than it is now, isn't it? Yeah, no, it, it, today, today I think it's about 44. Okay, or, so or 45, 45. It was getting 42. pretty bad there, though, wasn't it? Yeah, no, it went down, went down to about 38 at one stage. So you put the yeah. pool in? Yeah, put the pool and the uh, guest bungalow room here. Yeah, oh, so you put this sort of the bungalow room? Yeah, there, that's yeah, right, yeah. On to, because it, this was just um This is pretty much just land, was it? Grass yeah, that's or right. dirt or? Yeah, yeah, just just dirt. Yeah. Oh, so you put down the tiles and yeah, tiles, pool, um, and built. You've done a good. Oh, you've done the pergola and everything. Yeah, oh, you've done right, a really yeah. good job because yeah. this this actually looks like it was built with the house. Like it well, doesn't look like it's an adult. No, but that's why I wanted you know having the same sort of tiles that match the yeah. Um, house no, you've done really well there. Like, like it was part of the house. Yeah, no, you've yeah. done really well there. Yeah. Um. Mm. So all in, so the pool, this uh, granny flat, you'd call it. Yeah. Um, what, what expenses of that was what one million? Uh, uh, the pool and the uh, granny flat were yeah about sort of um, a, a million together. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So this place owes you about pretty much four and a half. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, about four and a half with the furniture. I, I think about four eight four nine then okay. in that region with you know um, kitting it all out and yeah doing all. No, look, that. I think it's, it's a great spot. You know, you're on soy eighty eight, which is very local. Yeah, yeah. So this is about the furthest, I think, for me personally. Yeah. Everybody's different. No, Soy 88's great. You know, you've got the, the big, uh, you've got heaps of restaurants around here. You've got yeah. the big, what's that big market called? The night market? Uh, uh, Pang and Paw. Pang Paw? Yeah. You go Pang there much? Yeah, a few times. Yeah, yeah a few know, times, yeah. They've got outdoor, yeah. you know, it's got music, live music and stuff. Yeah, and my, my friend's um, uh, a good friend, a kite surfing friend of mine. He's opened up a, um, uh, a, a steakhouse called Jackie's Steakhouse just down here. Oh, okay. And so that's handy. It's good steak, is it? Oh, it's lovely. Yeah. So you've got steak by Jackie. Yeah, steak by Jackie. And it's just, I'll tell you where it is, down Soy 88, um, Family Mart next door. So there you go. Right to, yeah. Steak Very by steak. Jackie. So, Soy yeah, 88. I'm sure you, you like me for doing that. Yeah, yeah, so give them a free plug. So go eat. Yeah. It's really good food, actually. Looks yeah, like very good value, actually. Reasonably priced. Yeah, very good value. All yeah. right. Okay, James, so, um, we were having drinks the other night, and you yeah. did say to me that if you had your time again, um, what was that, you know? Yeah, I, I mean, if I had my time again on hindsight, I, I probably would think it was a better investment to keep your money in the UK. Right. Or keep your property um, in the UK, invest um, in the market there. So would you say you regret buying the Thailand? Uh, I wouldn't regret it as in it's lovely to have your own home. Yeah. It is lovely. I mean, obviously, when you rent, you know, there is the thing of that you might, ha the, the landlord might want you to move and yeah. things like this. But I think that's it, the more sensible thing would be to keep your um, uh, money in, in a, you know, rather than buy here. Well, in, 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 in your home country, like, yeah, like Australia or the UK yeah, or America. Sure. Um, we, yeah. I, look, I honestly do believe, with, do believe um, what you're saying there because, you know, um, Capital gains is a lot better in like either England or Australia or America 
than what it is in Thailand at the moment. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, capital gains in Thailand are, is just non-existent at the moment. Would you agree with that? Yeah. 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 So. Um, yeah. You um, know, it, it depends on look. It depends on everyone's circumstances here. Um, you know, if money is no object and you're not really caring about the money, by all means, buy in Thailand. But you know, if you want your money to grow, um, you'd be better off to keep your money in your home country, wouldn't you? I think so. And 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 also there is the the um, a big thing about um, once you've bought here, uh, particularly in, in, in this market, as we all know, it's very um, uh, difficult to sell. Yeah, very difficult to sell. I mean, well, there's so much options, isn't it? Well, that's right. The the, um, uh, the, the supply is far out uh, the, the demand. demand yeah. yeah, for sure. So you know, prices have uh, dropped here, um, and and it's actually you know if you wanted to buy, it's quite a good time to buy. Right. But um, but then you've got to be prepared for the fact that if you wanted to move quickly, um, the property might take quite a time to sell yeah. unless you really want to um, drop the price. So if you're time. renting. You can just move whenever you want. Yeah, which is a you know it's great. You know if you, I mean particularly also, obviously as we all know, you know say say for instance you bought a um, you, you bought a house and then say your your neighbour um, suddenly has a couple of dogs and they're um, uh, not particularly friendly quiet dogs, dogs or the noise or, quiet, yeah. or the not noise as we all know in Thailand the dog problem in Thailand is is quite a big problem isn't it with soy dogs, soy dogs and, and yeah. barking dogs at night and things like this yeah and um, so and it, then obviously if they, you're having a dog that keeps you awake I mean I haven't luckily here no. but you know if I did have a, that that sort of problem then I'm stuck with it yeah or and, and and like in case you've got a bad neighbor yeah um, like you're not happy with a bad neighbor you, you can always move like if you've got you live in someone you don't really want to live next to, you own the property, you're pretty much stuck there. Aren't yeah, you, really? that's right. Yeah, um, yeah. Whereas we know um, in in the UK particularly, not so uh, you know up to date with the Australian market, but we know in the UK it will sell reasonably quickly. Yeah, you know, so you're not kind of stuck yeah. with it. No, that's right. And also, um, I think there's a major factor here is um, new properties. They they seem to sell. You know, phase one properties, uh, like for instance, this this um, village. Yeah. You know, they, as we all know, they call them villages. I don't know quite where the church is and the, the local pub. Yeah. But um, uh, the village here, when they're new, that I think they sell reasonably quickly. But yeah. when they're second hand, I think um, tires don't want them. They don't want them because they're not new. No, no that's tires right. got to think about yeah. everything's got to be new. Like they yeah. don't like second. They don't really believe in renovating houses or... No, they don't. You know what I mean? No, whereas we do. Oh, in, in Australia, the reno renovation market in Australia is huge. It's yeah. probably big, It's probably bigger than what the... Uh, could, because the old renos are in the good locations. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And, and, you, and particularly in um, Australia and the UK and the European market, if you get a, a, a property, as we all know, and it's run down, you know you can um, add value to that. Yeah. If you can put a um, bedroom in the attic or... Well, it's um, location, it's location it. too, isn't it? Big time. Yeah, big time. So, so, so for the, my viewers that are watching now, they're looking at retiring in Thailand. Some, you know, some of them, I'm sure, are thinking, should I buy, should I rent? You've heard it from the horse's mouth. Yeah. Rent. Yeah, I mean, everybody's different, John. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying that my... It is yeah. the right train but if you want to hang out if you want your money to grow yeah you know if you want the best investment yeah you'd be better off to either rent in the uk australia or you know canada or wherever you're from and with that rental that's going to be higher yeah. you rent here yeah well that you know you're going to get money from that rental and then you can live off that and then rent something out here yeah yeah that's right and yeah. and you know in you pretty much your home country you've got more control over the like your property rights and Yes. The ownership of you. Oh, for sure. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's a, I don't have to tell everyone what kind of uh, what the ownership rights in Thailand are, but it's you know it's a bit difficult. Can be a bit difficult sometimes. Um, just depends on your situation. But uh, so yeah, then, I mean, it's uh, you know I think most people know have been watching um, YouTube about you know the, the way the property market works here, and um, you know as we all know, condos. Um, the fur rank can buy the condo. Yeah. Um, uh, then there's companies set up and there's company owns the um, the land and then you lease off the company yeah. 30 30 30 you're married yeah yeah mm, so okay. all uh, you know but I, I think that been I think my emphasis would have been to have um, you know come out here rented at least until 
I was actually at the time thinking 100% sure this is the right thing to do. OK, so you, you think you rushed into it a bit much? Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm a bit impulsive that way, actually, right. Johnny. Yeah. But, but, yeah. but in saying that, you've got a good exchange rate. Yeah, that, you, that's you, a good thing. You've you got a yeah. great property at a, at a pretty good price. I think for five million for this place, like, did you see uh, the condo building that I, I did last week, the energy? Yes, I did. You know, yeah. they were wanting five million for a, yeah. you know, like a 52 square metre yeah. condo. Yeah. Um, whether or not, you know, everyone's different. Some people want a condo, but I'd be more happy here in a four bedroom, four bathroom, pool villa. You know, I think this is better, better buck for you. Um, better for value. Your for, oh, for sure. Better value. And better location too. And, and don't forget the, the, as we all were discussing earlier on, Johnny, that um, these condos are all very lovely, so long, so long, 100% they're maintained. Yeah, well, that's right. Yeah. You know, they're mm. putting the money back into them. That's a yeah, because the condo that is run down, oh, it looks shit after five years. And then it's very difficult to sell. Because a lot of these condos also are, you know, when they build them, they don't use the best building materials. Yeah. They try and do it on the cheap. So after, you know, I've seen condo buildings that have painted the outside exterior in like flat white interior yeah, paint. Yeah, that's right. Do you know what yeah. I mean? In, in a year and a half, it's looking... It's looking but also, <laughs> another major thing for the condo is that if you get one person um, doesn't actually pay the maintenance, yeah. and then there's a shortfall. Yeah, you right. know, and then if, if, if the buildings are... Um, the people are then handing the keys back in, and then you know, out of 50 condos, 20 aren't paying the actual maintenance, then how does that condo... Um, Would that have to go to legal? Would that have to absolutely go to court? Absolutely huge, yeah. Yeah, so there's pros and cons and everything. So, well, there you go. Well, yeah. Well, James, thank you very much for your time. No, not at so all. So, look, no. there you go. Heard from the horse's mouth. He's yeah. a he's a property owner here in Thailand. He does regret. Um, we, we don't regret, but you, if you had, if he had his time again, he would have put his money, left his money in the UK for a better return. Uh, the only bright side would be that you know if um, uh, I was renting this. It will be probably in the region of about twenty thousand, about up. twenty, eighteen to twenty in, yeah. in today's market. Maybe a bit better when the market came back. Yeah. And um, I've been here for six years, so that, you know I've gained about uh, a million bar already back on the property. Yeah. But um, that's, you know, a, that's not that much over five or seven years. Though, no, that's it? right. No, but if it's in the UK, then yeah, it's a hell of a lot more. Like some price. I'm from the Gold Coast in Australia. Some of the prices there. Have, gone up 25 percent in the past 12 yeah. months yeah um so there we go so yeah. you enjoy living in Wahin? yeah beautiful place yeah, yeah i love it i mean if, I, if you if you could live anywhere else in thailand where would it be i don't think i would actually yeah. i think places like um phuket and places um Pati are nice to visit yeah but, um, but, but commercialized uh, yeah and this is um uh has everything it's a quiet little town you get to know people i mean and plus it's got the um facilities of the golf tennis yeah and kite surfing which and you've got the new tr double double lane train coming through yeah that's so right that's gonna, you know, you'd yeah. be able to get to bangkok in two and a half hours that's so. right it's not the speed train no, no it's, it's the double the speed train. everyone says a double yeah. speed train i'm like it's not, it's the not the, everyone's thinking it's like a bullet train from japan yeah. or something. it's not like 10 minutes to um Wahin to bangkok well it's a lot quicker than, it's ah. going to be a lot quicker than the train now i think the train takes yeah. about four hours now so this is going to take two and a half so yeah that's right but anyway, yeah, so, but, but it's, it's a you know another benefit, and they're yeah. thinking of also doing something with the airport. Yeah, and, and they're uh, extending that too. Yeah, maybe international flights. So yeah. as a location, Wahin ticks the I think it's got. Right. A, I think it's got everything we need. There's a cuteness to it. Yeah, you, you get, it's small enough to get to know people. Yeah, so I don't. Regret, I don't know if that's yeah. a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah, I don't know, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean, but it's a very small town. No, I I, I love it here. And, oh, that's and, good to um, hear. And you uh, like living in Thailand? Yeah, yeah. But would you ever see yourself living back in the UK? No. No? No, because, I mean, I, I just couldn't um, uh, stand the weather. You know, I'd, I'd be playing indoor tennis for the rest of my life. Right. And a little bit of... Um, uh, yeah, the weather's the shocking, summer. isn't it? Yeah, that's right. I think that... Is that what brings a lot of people over from the UK to Thailand? Yeah, you think, the I, weather? I, I think so. And the cost of living? The cost of living. I mean, everybody knows it's not as cheap as it was, but it is still cheaper. Yeah. Um, you know, you've got your water bill here. Um, is you know i think here is about 300 bar it's not bad with the pool that's pretty good yeah uh, that's the water yeah and then yeah with the pool so that's not too bad so what are your electric be uh, here? electric is about 2300 okay and do you use aircon much uh a fair bit yeah, yeah a fair bit it's so pretty good with the pool it's not bad well i've got a i've got yeah. a three bedroom and mine's about three thousand but 
we pump air cons like oh do you two air cons on 24/7 yeah, yeah no no it's it's not too bad all right James thank you very much for yeah, your time pleasure thank pleasure you. to see you Johnny if anyone in the, anyone in the comments has got a question um I can, hopefully I can answer um thanks for watching watching and uh, we'll speak to you soon take yeah, care take care everybody bye be safe.